so now this is the we're, we're sort of in the middle of a curing process here. You got um, this is sort of the chamber, I guess. Exactly. And how long have, have these been in here? These have been in here for approximately three weeks. I think. Go ahead. So what we have here is this sort of vapor barrier area, yeah. very very separate. Very separate from the rest of the cantina and all the preserves and tomatoes and, and you know juices and all the other lovely Italian things, but this is sort of vapor barrier, so that it has its own climate control. Yeah. You've got is that a cold mist? It's a okay. cold mist. Yeah. So it's a cold mist. So you're constantly bringing humidity into the area. Exactly. We have to control the humidity around 70 percent. 70 percent humidity. It should be between 60 and 70 percent at all times. And, and then the can I come in here? Yeah. So. What we're doing here, if you can take a look at this thing, I'm going to grab this and I'll put it yeah, back on the same no nail. Problem. I mean, it's probably very sacred which no, nail with it. No, no. I mean, that's fantastic. It's beautifully marked, pepper, loin. So it's it's very clearly in the, you know, you clearly have some organization to oh, this because yeah. you need to have measure exactly. certain uh, certain parameters in, in the finished product. But, but look at that. And you're going to talk to about the netting in a little while, but the, 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 the Cow casings is holding all that beautiful meat in there, and I'm seeing mold, but that's not bad. Mold is not bad. That's mold mold says mold says I'm getting better. Yeah, that's, that's what right. you want. And what we'll do, we'll let them um, sit there for the, another three weeks, and then we'll wash them down. We'll get all that. Okay, that, so that you'll make mold. them look a little more prettier than this. Yes, so yeah. fantastic. But Put you back need on that mold. Meal. So you need that mold, and, uh, and that, that's how we control it. You don't want too much mold. You want a bit. So right. mold is almost an indicator of if things are going well. That's right. Okay. Because if we would come in here right now and see that whole thing moldy, then we would have to Okay, so, so too much mold is an indicator saying that there's some misbalance. Yeah, not enough mold is, is another so, thing, right? Okay. So that's why we always... Uh, You're looking for almost a scattering of mold. Yeah, so these, you should check almost twice a day. In the morning Wow. and in the evening. Just and how long is this... Here, until you have to keep well, that 70% humidity? Yeah, we, we control with this little steamer here, uh, cool steam. We control the temperature and the humidity, both. Fantastic. So, it's it's not a modern cantina, but it's 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 a perfect cantina to uh, to make the sofrese and cure them. And so, the, with, with everything being said, old style, two by four, nails that are bent and, you, you know, rusty nails, there is an element of science. Yes, there is. Okay. Here we have about 60 pieces of, uh, of meat. Wow. So take us through it, the, the process, Steve. Okay. Take us through the process. Yeah, this is the head right now. We're just carving this up. And we're taking all the meat and extracting as much as possible off that off that head. Correct. And who's the team here? Why don't you introduce to the guys? This is Olivo, our head cutter here. Okay. This is Fernando, my dad. Oh, Fernando. Yeah. Oh, what a pleasure. This is Olindo, another top butcher. Fantastic. And these are all butchers by trade, Steve? No, no. None of them are butchers by trade. Fantastic. And uh, these are all family? Yes. Yes. This is Benny. Hey, Benny. How are you? Hi. 60 years in the business doing this. Wow. Oh, and this is Giovanni. Go on. Another top butcher. He Fantastic. No butcher, Porsche Yeah. Oh, so describe that. What is that? You didn't say butcher. No, you said something else. Uh, uh, I guess, are they, is that specialist in specializing in pork yeah, butchery? Exactly, yeah. Okay. 
And so the, do each of the men today have a task, Steve? Yes, they all have their certain areas, what they're doing. He's cutting up uh, the skin, right? He's uh, Olivo there is cutting up the head. And uh, these three main guys, they're cutting up the main pig. All right. And, and how many pounds are we going to butcher the today? Today we're up to uh, close to 800 pounds. 800 pounds? Yes, between the two pigs that we're doing. Okay, so it's 400, 400 pounds a pig? Yeah. Okay, fantastic. Oh, just under 400. And so what, we got some younger teams uh, happening here. Yeah, we got three younger guys here, apprentices. This is, uh, and who's this guy? You didn't introduce this guy. Oh, this is my brother, Daniel. Oh, I, I, apprentice. Oh, fantastic. I, what a pleasure, guys. And so you picked up the pigs last night? We picked them up yesterday afternoon uh, right. in uh, Port Perry from uh, uh, the slaughterhouse. All right. And uh, we brought him into my dad's cantina uh, last night. And well, this night. is your dad's place? Uh, yes, it is. The family home? Yes. That's where we do it every year. So you're... 25 years. You're butchering family style. Exactly. It's all family style. So everybody brings on their own uh, uh, level of expertise. You're going to take a picture when you're when you making a, a big surprise. Oh, he's going he's gonna to be taking the okay. picture. Oh, yeah. He'll be here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're going to get him involved. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So how do you, how do you like this uh, craft? Beautiful. And what you, you're extracting all the fine uh, meat. meat from yeah. that. Uh, are we from the rib cage or? No, this is the leg. The leg, okay. Yeah, I gotta give a good night. Take, take the meat out. Yeah. Now, Steve, it looks here we're we're sort of in the, uh, kind of like a little grinding station. Yes, here we've cut up the meat into chunks of uh, approximately two inches by two inches, and uh, we're grinding it up, getting it prepared to uh, do the soppresse. Okay, so this is the final stage of meat preparation, would you uh, call this? Close to the final stage, yes, before in, in, we encase it in the, in the casing. Okay, so we went from butchering to select... Um, Selecting so, uh, the prime meat for soppresse. Right, but each of, the, each of the team members have their own task. Correct. So we went through that. Correct. We uh, are butchering uh, about 400 pounds of uh, pig today. Yes. And then it gets down into portions. We'll call them portions. Yes. But it we, looks like this gentleman's doing sort of a fat control. Is yes. he controlling the amount of we, fat? We, yeah, we don't want too much fat. It all depends on your, your taste. But our taste, we, we like, you need a bit of fat, but not too much. We don't like too much fat. Perfect. We're just controlling it right now. And who's the team here? Here we have two apprentices. Apprentices? Yes. And they're... they're the LB over here. They're trusting you with the grinding. Yeah, yeah. This is a big job. This and over here, we have first year apprentice, Rene. Rene, well, welcome aboard. Thank you very much. This is where it happens. Or, or, or is this where they gave you the easy job? They gave you the easy job. But this is great. So right now we'll grind it up. After we grind everything up, we'll spread it out, we'll have a look at it, see if it's fine, you know, too fatty or not. We need to add some more fat. So once we say it's uh, perfect, we'll weigh the meat. And once we weigh the meat, then we'll uh, calculate the salt that we'll now, add. Now, Steve, what are you actually looking... First of all, describe describe what you're making. You're making sopresa. Sopresa. Did, yeah. Sopresa. Did I just... Because I'm Calabresa. I yes, can't pronounce yes, it yes. correctly. Northern but, region. Calabrese. Northern region. But now, it's very characteristic of its fat content. Is that correct? Correct. Okay. So, we'll... we'll We'll take all this meat, which is probably going to be around 100 and clean, 150 pounds. Right. Uh, and then we'll uh, calculate the weight and add the salt and pepper and a bit of wine. Now, uh, red wine or white wine? Uh, white wine. White wine. So that there's no change in color of the meat? Nope. And uh, who's, who's doing the sort of a pre-test of uh, how much salt, how much pepper? Who's the culinary sort of uh, alchemist in that area? We have a calculation we use, right, per, uh, per pound or per, per kilo, how much percentage of salt, which we use around 22%, which is 2%. Okay. Uh, and then what we'll do, we'll fry some up. Just okay, that, that's how my dad and I used yes, to do it. Yes, we, we would. So basically, it's going to give you a sense yes. of, of, a, of a cooked portion and how much it's seasoned. And when we fry it up right away, it should have a high content of salt. So you want to taste that salt. It, so that salt is going to sort of like uh, dissipate over time. Is that correct? Yeah, correct. Okay. As it cures. Perfect. And so what's this, this gentleman's actually 
preparing. Is he doing the balance of, of fat? Is that what yeah, it is? Yeah, he's taking out. Uh, we, uh, we looked at it and it was a little bit too fatty, so we're taking out uh, a little bit of the fat. So you're controlling that by eye? Oh, by eye. Looking there. By eye and then just by looking at it over here on the side. So in actual fact, there is this locked in fat meat texture in your mind Correct. that you're looking at. So the, here comes the math. So we have uh, we have 115 pounds of meat here, and uh, we're going to add about 22 percent of uh, salt content, which works out to 2.4 pounds of salt in this uh, in this meat that we're going to be using for the sopresse. Okay. And uh, the pepper, the pepper, we do it by eye. And we're talking about simple, good old-fashioned black pepper. Yeah. Are you cracking it yourself? Yeah, it's it's a, uh, a coarser grind than a, uh, than a thing. Yeah. So you're looking for texture too? Yes. Okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Guinness World Record biggest burger in Woodbridge, Ontario. Pork, lean pork burger. Now, why are you doing this in a, in a round formation? This is, looks, looks like you're building a well to do your mixture. It's called a cake. This is the cake. Just before we're gonna add the salt, we're gonna spread it open. And we're gonna add salt and pepper. The cake. What's what's really really cool is that we're in the Andretta. Is that that France or Andretta? Andretta. Andretta. Sorry, I'm Calabrese, so I have to just get a get a song. Andretta up. residence. And we are in the original Andretta residence here. What an honor to be with Steve. Um, who opened his doors to us uh, uh, and he's got his family, his dad, his brother helping out. We're in the sort of like the the epicenter beginning. Correct. We're creating, I guess, the costume for the Sopresa. Exactly what we're doing. And talk to us about, the, about, about, about this costume. This costume I'm calling this sort of enrobing in case. I guess it's, it's, it's sort of the casing for the. Yes, it's, it's uh, cow intestines. So I picked them up uh, from a place over here in Woodbridge called Canada Compound. Right. Picked them up on... Uh, oh, they're still around. Yes, they are. Okay, they were I'm down in my, Caledonia, my, down that way. Oh, yeah, yeah. Get that. Yes, and they moved up here to Woodbridge, so this is where I go. I went there on Thursday, picked them up, told them how many pounds of meat and what I was doing, and they'll uh, give me some uh, intestines here. Take a look at it. So now they've been washing in uh, Steve's dad's uh, basin here for how long? Uh, you soak it for over a Yes, yes. Sir. Last night I started washing. So when you say washing, Steve, are you talking about water? Are you talking about grinding water, uh, salt? Are you talking about cool water, ice hot, water? Hot water with some lemon, wine, right? Boiling wine. Uh, okay. Apple, uh, I, I cut up an apple, boil the wine in it, right? The wine apple, why a wine? Are these things brought down from your family in Northern well, Italy down to... Over the years, that's what I've been taught. Right, and, and the, uh, the lemon, the apple, takes away some of the, some of the... Uh, so not the corn. prettiest thing, is it right now? No, they're, they're not. And, I mean, and this is for a big suppressor, right? So it's it's about 60 inches long once you stretch it. Well, no, actually, sorry, 36 inches and long. And then well, how, what's the diameter of this suppressor? Uh, at, at the end of the day, this when, how, how wide will this be? This one is in between four to five inches. Wow. Close to five. Fantastic. And you can get different sizes, right? So it's up to you how big you want them, right? So you can get them two and a half inches to three. Uh, four to five. Some and sausage, so, yeah, right, right, right. If right. you want sausages, you get the smaller ones. Right? Perfect. Let's take a look at this now. But here it is. So what I would do, open this up, turn it inside out, and then give it a wash and put it into the other basin. So from, from dirty to clean, we know that Correct. these are ready to go. Ready to go. Do they have to be, does the moisture have to be removed from the intestine at all? No. We're ready to go. Whether, whether there's a bit of water or lemon residue, it's okay. Yeah. And when we get ready to uh, encase these, right, with the suppressor meat, they have to be in hot, hot water. Oh, is that right? Yes. Is, is it sort of almost blanching the intestine? Yes. Okay. Exactly. So how would you do it? Describe it again. Go. Describe it. What would you do again? Grab two pieces like that, put in the fry. Fry the bear. Fry like you're coming down like oil. 
Yeah. And cook your French fry after. We've done that before. It's not. It's not that the oil or olive oil, oil. This is shit. But, with this. but it's also flavor. No, oh. Flavor, yeah. yeah. Right, whatever. Nothing goes to waste. No. Tools in the trade. This is the best meat. Are we going into the tenderloin, aren't you? Yeah. This is the tenderloin. The tray. Nice pork tenderloin. One of my favorite things. This, we're going to send a picture to the. Show me the tenderloin. Show me the tenderloin. Well, right. Cut the gola. That. Sauté and gozo. And that's pure. Yeah, that's pure. This is a pure meat. Yeah, that is the yeah, that is the that's the filet mignon of the pork. Right? My favorite. Yeah. I I, yeah. I chop into the dalliance yeah. really yeah. quickly. Yeah. 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 January 8th, 2011, Sopressa Day, here at the Andretta residence. I want to thank everybody for coming here today and helping us to make these two uh, pigs. And uh, we hope to see you in July so we can eat them at and the Veneto Center. And a big thanks to the pig itself. Oh, yeah. So, everyone. Che bel tramonto, le stelle si son date appuntamento, mentre coi cuore al vinto, sospiri in una lacrima di pianto, tu pare che non hai voglia di partire, tu guardi questo cielo e questo mare, io so dalle tue lacrime sincere. Potrai scordare il nostro amore, arrivederci bella forestiera, rondinella che parti stasera, il nido tuo lontano forse splendido sarà, ma il cuore col mio cuore incatenato resterà, nel sogno sentirai come un tormento, la mia voce velata di pianto. La voce di quest'anima che ancora sospira a te, ti voglio tanto bene, non ti scordare di me. Fiori dai verdi colli che avete ornato i biondi suoi capelli, Fiori celesti e gialli, più non vedrete quegli occhioni belli, le labbra e i baci miei si sono chiuse, un treno la ripone dal suo paese. Bene. So Steve, what are we doing here? We're uh, seasoning. seasoning. Salt, black pepper, both ground and coarsely ground. Correct. And I heard something about uh, a wine and garlic mixture. We have a wine and garlic And we're kind of like, actually, we're docking it, perforating right now. Right? Okay. My hands are clean. Go ahead. Well, what an honor. My camera's going crazy. Can you make sure the camera doesn't fly off the table? But we're docking right now. Or, or what would you call this? Uh, Mixing, perforating, what do you? Perforating. And, and we're doing this. Uh, so, uh, oh, what an honor. Oh, so basically we're creating these little craters. Yeah, craters and mixing yeah. salt. And, 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 and not only are we creating the craters, but we're creating these little crevices that the 
the mixture of, of infused <laughs> garlic cloves. <laughs> Look, isn't it good? <laughs> garlic cloves and the white water. <laughs> oh, we're actually filtering. Okay. And we're just drenching, and, and all the little crevices are being filled with this infused white wine and garlic cloves. What do you think? I'm squeezing every little bit out of it. Some more white wine, right? And again, it's going through the, the garlic clothes and, and being separated by this. So the green bean with the lack of the dragon, the ocean of the bean. And all the crevices are filled. Right. So what never happens now? Now we can start in the mixing. Can we do this? Yes. And again, we're going to just clean those little crevices again. Everything, your hands are all clean on the rice. We're just bringing all that pepper and salt and the white wine together. And infused garlic. And now we're going to fold. Right. We're going to fold. Like this. Well, this is a real honor, Steve. Yeah, I'll give him a ball. I could have been fine. So now I'll be your teacher. Now you're on the other side. Okay. okay. You jump on the other side, you're naked. Me and you. Now, hey. Are we creating it? Are we really creating a hot oh, oh, mixture? Now, now you're going to see the mixture oh, happening. Put it on one side. Put it on one side. Put it on one side. No, no. Now what? Now what? You're going to start. Oh, wow. Now we're going to put it on this side. Oh, wow. Yeah. So we're actually kind of almost uh, pressing it. Blending it. Blending it. Pressing it. That's it. Massaging. So this is like a pork spot. A pork spot. Pork spot. So we're, we're, we're just pressing that in. Are you going to repeat the process going this way? Oh, fantastic. It's going to be repeating it three or four times. Actually, you'll see it better when we... Uh we were just saying that it, 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 it's, it does take a bit of release of the reins that are the old guys trusting you that you're doing it right? Every year we get a little bit, the reins are released a little bit more. We hope another 10 years they'll be fully released. But you haven't earned it yet. No, no, no. We haven't earned it yet. But they were doing it already before, right? Yeah. Perfect. So Frank, once we have it's mixed, we're going to put it up to the pails, let it settle, and then uh, we'll, we'll be starting the casing in, uh, in about a little while, about an hour. Oh, once we finish coming up, uh, perfect. I can taste the salt. I can totally taste it. The salt's still lingering on our tongue, which mm -hmm. means that it's, it's enough salty thing. Yeah, it's enough salty. Now, would you get the... Oh, yeah. The I'm going there. I am going there right now. Yeah. And maybe it should be a touch more. Even more, maybe. Then we're going to see what they say. Wow. Let's go over there. Tell me. So Steve's getting note takers for his salted pork because he's going to get the blame. He'll get the blame if it's not right. So Steve's having one of his family members taste it. 
What's the verdict, Steve? It's good. It's good. Good job. Olivo, we'll provide them both. So, Steve, this is the final stage, right? Yeah. Yes, this is the final stage now. No, I have to eat. Well, the final stage is when you eat them. That's right, of course. Of course. Right now, we're just. Putting them in the encasements here. Right. And, uh, so you're, you're, you've uh, you filled this little chamber up. You fill this, and here it is. You fill the chamber up with meat. Right. You close it up. And then you push the last little bits. Nothing goes to waste. No. Yeah. I noticed the difference between that diameter and the bigger diameter. Are these two different products? Yes, this one, we're going to cure it for about six months. This one, we're going to eat it about two weeks. Oh. Yeah, fresh. Okay. We'll fry it up like we fried up here. Right, okay, there. okay. We'll have it with some eggs, sausage. Oh. Una? Yeah. Show me the So all these little, uh, what's this one? Are we going to tag this one? Yeah, this one's going to be tagged Capricorno. Okay, so Capricorno. Is that the tag? Yeah. Yeah. For this? So, yeah, so Steve has prepared these beautiful little designed uh, tags that indicate what that item is. And then where do you put it? You just basically... We'll, we'll just tie it on right here. <laughs> and I think everyone owns a uh, part of this pig, is that correct? Yeah, it, one is for the Veneto Center. Oh, right, right. And one is ours. <laughs> okay, this one. This one? 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 And now, Steve, will these hang in this room for a little portion before uh, they go into the cantina? Before, we'll probably put them in the cantina after 24 hours. So tomorrow, around after lunch, between 2 and 4, we'll put them in the cantina. They'll hang here and dry a bit here. Some of the moisture will get out. Right. Water. And then uh, tomorrow, I'll come over here. Me and my dad will put them in the, in the cantina. Perfect. And then the curing process starts. Perfect. And again, for curing, what when when can... When can we enjoy a slice from this batch right here? Uh, from this batch, probably around six months. Six months. Yeah. Hey, what's going on here? Like, here. as if, as if it wasn't enough that that uh, that go in there. Mom and Chia here made fresh pasta today. Only because the guys need to eat. Oh yeah. So this is part of a, a tradition here at your home where the mother stays above ground, above sea level. Doing the cooking doing all the day. Cooking. So for us, once we finish doing the pig, we'll have a nice dinner. That's Not fast. that we didn't have a nice lunch. No, are you Perfect. kidding me? It was fantastic. But we're gonna have fresh pasta. And I smell it, a beanie, and look at this. How gorgeous is that? Yeah. And then we've got Oh yeah, because you were gonna do a, you, you were gonna you were gonna fry the fry the rapini, right? So I almost uh, messed up here, but that's fantastic. Fresh pasta. Look at this. So now this is the sort of like tail end of using every part of that pig. What are they making over there? That's uh, cotechino. Why don't you describe it for us? Cotechino is uh, it's a salami, but instead of using the uh, let's say the finer parts of the uh, pig, they use the skin. 
and uh, the muscle, anything that's sinewy and tough. Right. And that's only because uh, we couldn't afford uh, in the old times to throw anything away. So they invented this. Because it's a little tougher, you wouldn't uh, let this dry out. You'd actually have to boil this. And, so, so, so to prepare it, it isn't fried or dry cured, it's boiled. But you described this fantastic meal, which I, I can almost taste in my mind with, with lentils. Oh, the puntequino and lentique. Right. That's a classic uh, from our parts also with polenta, but the lentique and puntequino was a, a New Year's Eve dish because uh, so lentique is money. Right, right yeah. yeah. And the puntequino uh, just went well with that. Yeah. Fantastic. Fantastic. Let's go see how they're, they're uh, it's uh, what we call uh, a pork spa over there. They've been massaging the pork. Yeah.